Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Spray Torian, and welcome back to Hard to Find Fours. We are playing with the Turkish Socialist Republic in the Road to 56 mod. Uh, so, one of the first things we want to go ahead and do here is uh, we want to go ahead and give these Desert Runners assign them because they are now done training. So, I moved a few divisions around, moved one of these guys over here to the Blue Army. I moved a guy out of the Red Army since we're going to be giving them a tank because we did take one of their tanks. So, let's go ahead and grab uh, one of those tanks up and put them in the Red Army. Uh, and then, one of these guys, I think we'll go ahead and throw him into this Orange Army temporarily at least so that he can. Uh, uh, help take that territory a little bit quicker uh, and then we're going to put these guys over here onto that blue army so the blue army is going to have 20 divisions total uh, and then uh we also need to build some more troops uh we don't really have a lot um, we don't have any building excuse me uh so let's go ahead and get some desert runners building uh we'll do like oh i don't know let me just take a look at what we're short here looks like we're gonna be short on light tanks a little bit all right let's just go and pull from those and let's just do uh, let's just do three since that's what we have right now uh, and that's okay because uh, i don't want to take too much from the light tanks in our uh stockpiles because we'll we will need those for our tanks that are currently fighting out there right now uh also i want to go and get some uh, turkish elites going uh we will get uh, i don't want to get yeah too numerous here because yeah it seems that we are starting to have some manpower issues so let's just get just get five more going i think because I, I want to have some manpower left to to put that into the uh, Desert Runners. All right, so this is looking good. Um, everything we, is assigned here. We need to fix this, though. All right, excellent. So that'll work. Get those guys uh, training up. Our tanks moving around here. Uh, I did want to announce that there's probably not going to be a video on uh, Tuesday, guys. And the reason for that is because I'm going to be streaming. I won't be streaming on Hearts of Iron. There's a new game coming out called uh, SOS. It comes out on Tuesday. It's a uh, it's a shooter game that kind of looks like a multiplayer shooter game. It just looked kind of interesting. I've been following it since they first announced it. Uh, and I don't know. I, I want to try it out. So I'm going to stream it that day. And if it is good, if I like it, then what we're going to do is we will... We're going to train these guys, by the way, because uh, they took a lot of casualties on their attack over here. But if it's good, um, then I'll also put some videos up on YouTube. Um, it just depends on, you know, whether I like the uh, multiplayer or not. Uh, but yeah, I'll be streaming that on Twitch. Uh, so it should be a good time. Always enjoy streaming with you guys. So yeah, um, I will announce further because I'm, I'm recording this video on... Uh, what day is this? This is Saturday night. So I can't say for sure that that's what's going to end up happening. So I don't want to like... Um, you know, tell you guys that it is and then and then it end up not happening. So, yeah, uh, I will announce on uh, social media when we get a little bit closer to then so that I can uh, kind of fill you in on what's going on. God damn it, man. Just come over here then. Uh, just having a lot of issues trying to get these guys um, attacking over here. Let's attack with these two, see if we can get a win. Uh, it is 55 uh, going up as well. So, yeah, we'll see what happens there. We did get our first uh, Naval Doctrine. Let's go ahead and move along towards the uh, Raider Patrols. Uh, we need to increase the abilities of our ships, guys, uh, because uh, we are actually engaging, or we were, excuse me. Looks like that battle already finished up over here. Uh, we were engaging the Japanese fleet. There's three ships over here. Uh, I don't know what ended up happening there. Let me just see if these guys are looking good on the repairing. Uh, let's go ahead and send them home. Repair right now. Uh, send them home to get a little bit of repairing done. I also sent, though, some uh, planes over here. Some torpedo bombers. They're deploying right now. So that if, we, if we do engage the Japanese over here in this sea region, then they'll get assistance next time. Uh, because, yeah, we want to get their fleet destroyed. That's a big... Uh, Big goal for us so that we can finally do this fucking invasion here. I'm worried about sending my fleet over there um, to protect them because I think we'll end up losing the entire fleet. So I want to wait until they get a little bit stronger before we do that. Damn, this sucks. They pumped all those troops over there and now we're not going to be able to do what I wanted to do. All right, well, that's unfortunate. Huh. I wonder if we should even focus on doing this now that there's all those divisions here. They are pretty weak here. I wonder if we can win on this province. What if we sent like a ton of divisions up over there? Could we win? Like just a bunch of tanks. Um, maybe. I guess we can see, huh? Uh, let's send... Uh, let's send these guys over this way. And let's see if we can get uh, enough divisions over in this province. I know they're all going to want to pull out of there. Uh, but you can't go. I say no. Uh, so that maybe we can get that division there destroyed. Uh, I know that supply is going to be an issue here. <laughs> when are these guys going to be there? 12 hours. When do they leave? Okay. So we should be able to leave this, and it should be fine. Alright, so yeah, we're going to get that other tank division. Um, and we can also send this guy up here as well and excellent so this guy's gonna be here in three days uh, let's go and pull these guys back let's attempt to attack right there see if we can get a victory over there we want to send one of our better divisions over there to the initial part of the attack let's send uh let's just send no we don't want to send all of them in i'm sure some of them are gonna pull back though so it doesn't matter let's just send them all in and see if we can get a win there damn nope I'm not gonna get a win there you're not allowed to leave um hmm 
Yeah, now everybody wants to pull out. Fuck you guys. Such a pain in the ass. We'll just keep on attacking, and then eventually they'll get weak enough where we'll be able to uh, get, finally uh, get that province into our hands. What does it see? You guys can attack as well. And you guys are not allowed to leave. Not letting anybody leave here. I also added some more planes over here, which is further stretching the supply out. Um, attack. And that's part of the problem as well, I'm sure. Um, attack. All right, maybe we can maybe we can get them defeated just by using this tactic here. Some people prefer doing this tactic even when they don't need to. Uh, where you just continually pull them back so you always have them losing um, organization. And we're still waiting on this guy. He's going to get here in one hour momentarily. We need another full organization division over here to attack. All right, and you guys are not allowed to leave. Uh, we're going to send these guys in as well. And let's see if we can take this province here. Um, yeah, just having so many issues attempting to keep the attack ongoing, unfortunately. Um, I'm not sure why. Like I said, it's just a constant issue here, why they won't continue attacking. Because, uh, yeah, you'll see here, um, I mean, we have a lot in reserves, and so they're just looking at this one division here. And so this one division's organization gets so low, so it cancels. And instead of, like, having the other ones engage, and it makes me, like, re-click on all this. Uh, who's the, the best looking? They're all extremely weak. Oh, Lord. And the problem, of course, is that we don't have any fucking supply here, guys. Yep. None of these attacks are lasting very long, unfortunately. Yeah, that sucks. We just have too many divisions over here. Um, well, I mean, we could try and stretch it out a little bit. I don't think that's going to be too effective, though. Uh, we'll bring that division over that way. And let's just see if we can stretch out this, this front a little bit, since we do have so many divisions over here. Uh, I don't know if it's going to increase the supply at all. We need to take one of their victory points, really, to, to have any hope. And it looks like this attack is finally going to be successful. Let's just see. Let's see what happens there. Oh, they pulled back. Damn it. Oh, that sucks. All right, let's try again. And we'll try with uh, this tank unit, too. Go in there. Attack. Uh, we're just going to send all these guys in and see what happens. <laughs> Go everybody in. And uh, let's see if we can get a win there. Oh, nice. We might have just taken it. Although it looks like there's a division currently moving in there. Will any of our divisions get there first? Just kind of see here. I'm not. I don't think so, guys. I don't think anybody's gonna get there first. Let me take a look at this tank unit here. No. All right. So what we're gonna want to do? We're gonna pull them back and attack there, and just continually attacking with our, our units here, uh, the non-tank units, of course, and see if we can uh, delay them some so that we can try and beat them. I don't know. It doesn't seem like it's gonna be possible. Oh man, I really don't want them getting there. They're really weak, but it's still it's it's about not wanting to have to take. Um, that province again. We've had such difficulty. We have more divisions coming up over this way. Three day in 18 hours. Oh, it's so frustrating. So this is two days. Just trying to take a look here. Uh, yeah, it seems like none of them are going to get there in time. Damn it. Let's attack again. Yep, maybe if they would just launch the goddamn attack rather than me, uh, then it would work. Um, instead of me attacking, because my guys are all like really, really weak. Uh, they don't have any fucking organization. We lost there as soon as we took it. That's unfortunate. Uh, not surprising, though. Let's go ahead and bring these troops over here. Uh, we're going to bring these mountain troops down this way as well. Just kind of extend the front a little bit. Uh, stretch the Japanese out some more. Uh, why is this blinking here like we have something here? Um, hmm. Yeah, or maybe it was the rocket interceptions. I keep Interceptors they keep on trying to, like, sell me. It's like, I don't want to buy your rocket interceptors. Stop it. All right. Uh, we do have some steel problems. Let's go ahead and fix those. Always some damn steel problems. The steel issues, guys, it's it's ridiculous. God damn it. I knew they were going to beat me. I mean, it's not surprising that they beat me there. I mean, we saw that. We'll be able to push them back because they don't have any strength. But then we're going to have to deal with... Well, wait a minute. That division pulled back. All right. We might actually get it. All right. Excellent. And we'll get some more divisions over there momentarily. Let's go and attack over here now. Although, they're going to try and attempt to attack us there. Oh, that sucks. Fuck you. Let's attack here. Yeah, this is some bullshit, man. <laughs> oh, that's some bullshit. Okay, let's uh, bring it back like so. Oh, shit. <laughs> what the fuck? That's all I want you guys doing. Oh, it won't let me. Okay, so you have to. Huh. Now it's saying I can't defend the entire. That's weird. All right, whatever. That's the way they want it. We're just going to have to let them, you know, do it, do it the way they want. Uh, how, how long until these guys get there? It's four days. We might be able to beat them there. We still have the tanks going, but right now, hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure how we're going to do this. Yeah, this sucks, man. We overstretched ourselves just to cut these divisions off. But there's a lot of them. So, I mean, there is that. Let's attack over here. 
Um, oops, that failed miserably. Try and get them bottled up. Probably not going to work, though. Nope. We just don't have the abilities here. Uh, we just don't have the troop numbers. And these guys here are currently being attacked. It's really smart of them. Let's see if we can attack here to end that. Um, so, so we can finally get our tanks over here. Oh, nice. We got them there just in time. Because these guys would have got overrun if we hadn't, uh, hadn't done that. All right, and we are going to win there as well because they exhausted themselves with that attack. All right, excellent. Let's go and bring these guys over here. Uh, so far, things are, are rough. Very, very rough. Um, let's currently let's go ahead and get... Um, what are you guys currently doing? Stay here. I need you guys to stay right there. Assigned to this front here. Uh, everybody needs assigned to this front. Uh, you guys can stay assigned to that one, I suppose. Uh, right there like that. And you guys are going to be assigned to here as well. Seven divisions currently assigned. Um, you guys are, are going to be assigned here too. Excellent. And that is looking good. We really want to get these guys destroyed if possible. Uh, we're going to try um, get these guys finished up. And we can't leave. You guys can't leave here. You guys got to stay. This is our... I mean, it doesn't... I just want to make sure we hold that province there. I don't really care about this. I wish we didn't have to hold it. Uh, the fall of Hong Kong. Okay. Um, let me see what happened over here. Who was? Whose hands was it? It was in British hands. Okay. I wasn't sure if it had fallen out of their hands yet. Uh, the British were advancing over here, and then they lost it. I'm going to guess it's a naval invasion. Uh, that's probably what ended up happening there. Let's go and assign these guys over here. We're at 22 divisions for the Blue Army now. Uh, 24 for the Red Army. Uh, we currently have these guys training up over here. We don't really need to train them up, but we're going to continue it. Uh, because I believe, yeah, we're pretty much good. Oh, wait a minute. The United Kingdom is justifying against us. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's take a look at what's going on here. They want to secure Iran. Okay, you know, if the Allies want to declare war on us, it's fine. Because we were going to do it against them soon anyways. Um, I think we're actually going to be getting... I don't know if this would have gave us a war goal. I mean, it's 15 days. Um, I was, like I said, I was planning on spring attack. Uh, so we'll just continue, um, continue working on this over here and see what happens with the allies. I really hope they do declare war on me. I'm absolutely fine with that. And they'll be the bad guys. All right, so we have all these guys cut off. They're currently facing not as much attrition as I would like, unfortunately. Uh, why are these guys just? Oh, that's right. They're trying to fill in this border here. What, what's going on here is the fact that we have. We don't have enough divisions assigned to this front here. All right, let's take another one and assign him as well. Just to make sure that uh, we have this whole front secure. Um, I could continue, and I think we will continue advancing. We're kind of stretching the front out really far, though, guys. I don't know if we're going to be able to man it. We should probably wait until we get these guys cut off. I think we're overstretching the front just a little bit too much. Uh, and let's go ahead and bring this back as well. Just like so. Yeah, that looks good. Uh, what we might do... Hold up. Let's... Okay, we're going to do this a little bit differently, guys. Uh, we're going to take all these guys here, and we'll just move it like that. Yeah, that'll work. And then whoever was assigned, this guy here, he's going to be assigned to that front instead. All right, excellent. Um, damn it, you didn't need to do that. Whatever, we'll leave it as is. It's fine. Um, so can we get an attack going over here? Let's take a look. Everybody is so weak that I don't think they're going to be able to muster it. Um, yeah, I just don't think they're going to be able to pull it off, unfortunately. Damn. Yeah, they're just too weak. Yep, we just don't have the organization because of our... Well, we did force one division to pull back. We're just going to have to wait until they lose the supplies. And we just have to hope that they don't... Uh, yeah, they don't, uh, you know, liberate them. Uh, which is a completely a possibility here. Um, yeah, it looks like the Soviets are attacking them there. We're just going to wait until they weaken up a little bit. Um, it's going to take some time. It's okay. Uh, still working on these cavalry divisions here. We do have some dockyards finished up. Let's go and get these assigned into the light cruisers. Like I said, eventually we are going to start working on some... Uh, um, uh, some some destroyers, but I really need to research those. We never did get this either, so I think we should go ahead and get radar stations. We only have one level. Uh, let's build it. Hmm. You know what? These are not going to be incredibly helpful. Yeah, <laughs> I guess none of this is actually ours at the moment. Uh, I guess we'll build one right there, although I don't really like building it in a land that's not ours. But that's the only one that's really going to help us. That's the only place that's, that's uh, going to be beneficial. Yep, and we only have level 1, so, yeah, largely irrelevant, the level 1s. They just aren't a very big bonus or a very large range. Um, so, yeah, about, about another, maybe another month, and we'll declare war. Uh, got another Italian convoy over here sunk. Although I am worried about if we bring the Soviets into the conflict, uh, if they will be able to handle it. Uh, because, as you can see, they're having issues over here. They can't handle it. There's just too many fronts for the Soviets to focus on at the moment. Uh, we did finish conquering over here, which does give us a closer air base. Let's go ahead and move these guys over there then um, so that they can uh, get a better range in the central Mediterranean Sea uh, in case we do engage the Japanese there again. Uh, just taking a look at the Soviet situation. Yeah, they're just too many divisions they have in in uh, Asia right now. 
They are manning this whole front though, so they could help us with the war. So what I'm thinking, let me just kind of look over here. So the problem is, if somebody was saying, you know, don't, don't pull the Soviets in. Well, if we didn't do that, we wouldn't be able to invade France from Soviet territory. You can't invade from neutral territory, meaning we also can't invade uh, from this direction either. Um, so, of course, a benefit to that, though, is that if they're not in the war with the Allies, then none of this territory would go to them. Uh, and the route that they said we should take is go through North Africa. That is, man, that would take forever, guys. We'd have to conquer all Egypt, all the way through Libya, just all through North Africa, basically. And then... And then we have to do a naval invasion, which might not succeed. Remember, the the, the Spanish do have a 28 uh, size uh, fleet. Uh, French have, they only have four ships, and the British have 45. So we don't even know if we could do a naval invasion. If we did the naval invasion, then we got to take all of Spain before we enter France. By that point, France could be pretty strong over here. Um, so yeah, I don't know if that's the best best way to do it, guys. It would take so long going through Africa and then doing that naval invasion. I just don't like that idea. Yeah, I just don't, I don't want to do it. It's just too time consuming. So I think we are going to pull the Soviets in. I can see the benefit not doing it. But remember, we don't really want that much territory from the Allies. So I feel like even if the Soviets do a lot of the, the work, um, which I don't think they, I don't know if they could though. If we take all France and then we do the naval and Spain and then we do the naval invasion of the UK, then we should have really good participation, you'd think. And if that's the case, um, then we should be able to get what I want from the Allies, which really isn't much, guys. I'm not really asking much from them. Uh, I mainly just want Syria and North Africa. Um, you know, Soviet Union can have France. They can have the United Kingdom. They have all that. Uh, if we get the, if we stay out of the points, we'll go for Spain. Uh, essentially, as you can see what I'm trying to create here, uh, like the old Muslim Empire. Um, let me just see if we can get this invasion going or, or this attack going. These guys are all so fucking weak. Um, and the attrition that they're taking is just not as high as you would expect. Uh, and with us having, yeah, the air support and everything over here, you think we'd be doing better. Uh, you know what we need to do? Uh, well, first we need to select this. Uh, and then we're going to go with, hmm, why can't we go with this one? Oh, we can't do this one unless we own Central Ma Macedonia. Okay, that's fine. Whatever, we have this one. Um, and that'll give us those cores. That's important. Uh, so we'll go ahead and that did increase our manpower, I guess because we, huh, interesting. Maybe just because we uh, control it? Okay, uh, that's awesome. Uh, what I think we're going to go, go ahead and go for next is the claim Cyprus. Let's go ahead and get that going. Uh, and uh, let me just see, what was I saying? Oh yes, what we need to do is pull our, our uh, planes out of here because they're clearly getting a rather nasty penalty. Um, and we have space in these other air bases. Uh, there's space there. So might as well go over here um, instead of taking those penalties. Uh, let's go with, I think this one's a little bit closer, so let's go ahead and move the dive bombers over there because their range isn't quite as long and then move the fighters over here. Uh, yeah, there's no reason to take that that penalty. And plus it's stretching the supply, guys. It's overstretching the supply uh, by a considerable amount. So it'll help, it'll help us out if we pull those, those uh, planes out. And let me see here, more resistance in lower Austria. Uh, the Austrians causing trouble. All right, um, we'll just let them extend over here. It's fine, guys. I know it's going to make it more difficult. We could have advanced really quickly through here, but you know what? This It's better this way. It's absolutely better this way. Um, so we'll let the Soviets continue throwing themselves up against them. It looks like they are taking, finally taking considerable amounts of attrition over here, uh, which is good. Let's just let them continue to weaken, because, um, yeah, I don't... I mean, we're weak, too, so yeah, even though they're pretty weak, uh, Republic Albania just joined the Allies. Okay, we're... What was going on with them? I think they were neutral this entire time, weren't they? All right, well, that's awesome. That'll allow us to get more territory for ourselves. I'm okay with that. And yeah, this is one of our cores. I think that's the only one we got that's a core, right? Yeah, we got we got Macedonia now. Okay, uh, so yeah, we got a ton of core territories over here. Um, if we can ever... Uh, oh, these guys are done training. Let's stop them. Yeah, if we can ever uh, get the uh, peace treaty going, which we have to... Gotta finish up the Axis first. Fucking Japan, man. I love that they're changing that in the next uh, patch, that you no longer have to completely conquer Japan because it's such a bitch to do, um, which is why they didn't do it historically because they knew it was gonna be a fucking pain. Um, so yeah, I think I think the, I know that they have to lose China. They have to lose in China. I think they have to lose all their mainland uh, uh, provinces. I'm not entirely sure on that, but I think if they get kicked off the mainland, then you can make peace with them. I think there might be two ways of doing that. I'm not entirely sure. I think I know that dropping the bomb is one of them, though. And I think there's another way to do it without dropping the bomb, though. 
Um, so they're attacking here, they're gonna lose. Let's let's go in and try and get this wrapped up because this has really been uh, stopping us from doing anything else while we're waiting for this. Uh, and then we're gonna send a tank unit in here as well to support that. And then we'll attack this way too, try and get this wrapped up here. Um, we'll support with these guys and these two tank units. See if we can get these guys finished up finally. Um, no. <laughs> All right, let's send these guys in. Uh, it's because this guy failed. All right, let's send both of those in and then see what happens here. We'll support with this troop. All right, let's we'll keep on attacking. See if we can get the, uh, we did finish here. Awesome. And they, we, we actually beat, it, uh, beat them in both provinces. So we'll have these troops overrun here momentarily. It's three Japanese divisions. And these nine divisions are from China, Peru, uh, the Mongols, and the Japanese. So a lot of divisions that we just uh, destroyed there. Excellent. Very pleased with that. And that'll allow us to continue our advance here. We might as well go ahead and start doing that now because there's fortifications across this river. So that's, ooh, yeah. Don't want to have to fight there if we can avoid it. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and send anyone who's currently, let me just see here, you guys are going to be assigned to this province here. We don't need as many assigned over here any longer. It's going to get those guys going over there because this is just about done. Go and attack over here. Get this wrapped up, please. And you guys are going to attack this way too. Just make sure that it finishes up. All right, excellent. And you guys are going to attack over that way as well. Because uh, I don't know, these guys are currently retreating. I think this should overrun them. But I want to make sure that it ends up working out the way I want. No and no. You shall not have it. Um, yeah, so we did finally get all those divisions cut off. I don't know if it was worth all the effort we put forth to do it, though. Man, that was difficult. Let's see if we can beat these Germans here. Probably not, but they're going to be pretty weak when they get there. So, yeah, we'll attack them. Uh, yeah, we got this taken care of. Excellent. Let's go ahead and get the uh, these guys having a, uh, a line. We just want them to take, just like so. We're not gonna. We're still gonna manually control them. I can't have them throwing my manpower away with dumbass attacks. Uh, let's see what we did over here. Some convoys and convoys. All right. I'm really hoping to get the fleet destroyed, but yeah, I just haven't had a lot of success with that. We need to get. I think there should be an air base right there. Um, maybe we'll have to see. It seems that hopefully they don't come taking a port. Uh, it looks like they might be leaving. Uh, we'll just have to see what happens there. What I want to do is I want to pull these guys back some. They don't need to be up that far north. Uh, and they did move there. All right, that's sorry to see. Uh, let's go and attack them here. Um, it just meant that they had that Italian division come in here before... Um, oh, hold up. <laughs> uh, before we actually took the port. That's what it was. And I hate that the game does that. I think that... Um, they should automatically be readjusted if the port is taken. And I've said that before, but I'd like to see them finally do that. Um, but yeah, thus far they haven't haven't implemented it yet. Uh, but it'd be nice because yeah, they just get a free port. They get a free naval invasion where they don't actually have to do the invasion. Uh, we did win here. These guys are going to get there before us, but we'll go ahead and go behind them. Um, and then we're gonna get this tank unit. We need to get him going over here. And it looks like we have, can I get anything from these guys? No, can't. All right, we have a uh, military factory done. And when did we run over how we got that? Hmm, interesting. Yeah, because none of this is ours. None of this is going to us, I don't think. Let's swing over here. No, none of it's going to us. Okay, uh, yeah, I'm not entirely sure where we got that from. I didn't build any. I wasn't even building factories, so. Hmm, okay. Whatever, I'm not gonna question it. Uh, I'm gonna take the factories. Uh, and let's go ahead and assign them. Let me just take a look at our infantry equipment situation. Oh Lord, it's pretty low. Okay, we're, we're currently building a lot, um, but yeah, it's just it's just not enough. We're still trying to do the converting from the stockpile as well. Um, let's, let's get another infantry equipment line going. I think that would probably be wise. Cause it seems like, yeah, we're, we're losing a ton, ton of equipment. And let's just get these two factories put in here. We're just gonna get a bunch of factories put in there. Uh, we also have some dockyards as well. Lovely. Let's go ahead and put these into, oh, let's see. Um, I guess we can continue doing the cruisers for right now. Uh, yeah, we'll continue doing cruisers, but I would eventually like to get, um, I would eventually like to get the destroyers building, but like I said, we have to research those and we are short on steel again. God damn, that's why we're building some civilian factories, guys. Uh, Cause we don't have, we don't have any uh, civilian factories to trade. Um, anymore, we're running low, uh, and yeah, we can't really build shit either, cause yeah, that's where they're all they're all going, going towards. All right, so what were the allies gonna be happening soon, guys? I think we're gonna wait until I get this claim. Yeah, I said I was gonna do it in the spring, but might as well do it that way and, and save the political power. Um, also, uh, the uh, U United Kingdom is just fine against us, so they might declare war too. So I'm curious to see what happens there. Uh, so we'll wait until we get our claim. And remember, this Japanese fleet is over here. So far, we have not had any success destroying them, unfortunately. Uh, looks like we finally bond somebody over here as a convoy. 
Okay. Finally doing a little bit of damage to the uh, the Japanese um, in the, the seas. So that's really good to see. Uh, let's see if we can do anything else over here. It looks like the Germans are trying to get over here. We're going to try and take that first, snatch it out from under them. Uh, we have this guy coming over here. Let's, hmm, let's have these guys come over this way and bring this tank unit over here. Let's get a little bit more uh, quicker units so we can kind of grab this up really, really quick behind them. Uh, that's the hope anyway. Um, let's bring this guy over here. Uh, and then, yeah, we have two tank units coming over here. I don't care if we, hopefully they don't get cut off. I do care. I'm not gonna say I don't care, but <laughs> I don't care that much. Uh, but we could also reduce this front here just a bit. Yeah, let's do this. Guys, come over this way. I need more divisions. I need more divisions this way where we're actually gonna attempt to advance here. Uh, let's bring this tank unit over here. And let's see if we can uh, get this, all this territory taken quickly. Looks like some of the Germans did put somebody over there. There's a lot of German divisions over here, surprisingly. Uh, very interesting. Okay, whatever. Fine with that. Um, yeah, getting a lot of uh, Chinese territory in our hands. Let's go and take this tank unit and attempt to take that right there. And then we'll see if we can get the rest of this real quick. Um, and this guy, he'll just hold this province for us. Uh, this guy will hold this province while this tank unit comes over here and he starts taking territory too. Use those light tanks to take the territory. We have 205 army experience. I'm, I believe we're done with designing our divisions unless we go ahead and get, um, which we might. Uh, we're gonna bring the tank unit. Uh, well, let's get these guys going this way. Uh, because I, I, we might get airborne troops uh, for the invasion of the United Kingdom. I don't know. Let's just take a look at what do we have researching right now. Oh, nothing's really close to being done. Still got days before we get anything. All right, so we need more division, divisions over here. Let's go ahead and send these guys this way. This guy's gonna come over here. And yes, um, we're, we should be able to get all this territory. It doesn't look like there's anybody defending it. I'm really hoping, and we'll keep that guy there. Let's just use this tank unit to take all of this here. Uh, and I'm really hoping that there's an air base here. I don't know uh, if there's one or not. I can't recall, uh, but that sure would be nice. Uh, we don't need anybody over here. You guys are gonna stay on this front. Who else is over here? You guys are gonna stay on that front as well. And you are gonna stay on this front. All right, lovely. Uh, let's go and move this guy over here and this guy here and you go there. All right, looking good, guys. Uh, that one tank division should be able to wrap all that up. Uh, we could have this guy move forward, but I'm a little bit worried that we're, we're pushing the front a little bit too quick. Let's attack here and then attack here so that we can uh, push the front forward. We're gonna attack right there as well. Maybe we can get behind this one Chinese division. Um, uh, there's a lot of provinces in between us and cutting him off. This is a terrible location to cut him off, uh, especially with the current number of troops that we have over here. But you can see that they're really overextended. They're not going to be able to defend this entire area. I just don't see it. Don't see it at all. Um, let's let's try. Uh, this could end up resulting in our troop getting cut off, but I feel, I feel confident that we have the numbers to to save them. I don't know though. I guess we'll see. <laughs> if he gets cut off, he gets cut off. It'd be bad. Um, but you got to take risks sometimes. We're going to take this as well. We're just going to be pushing forward here as quickly as possible. All right. Excellent. Let's go and push forward right there as well. Uh, and then hopefully we'll get this division cut off. Um, yeah, this will be really good. We'll get them destroyed. Uh, one Chinese division destroyed. Um, so much effort for the one Chinese division, <laughs> but I want to get them. I want to get as many troops, like I said, uh, destroyed uh, as possible. All right, so we should have this momentarily. It looks like there was a German division there. Uh, that was the one that retreated. Uh, and yeah, he'll be destroyed or, or made retreat uh, temp uh, pretty quickly here. And I almost feel we should bring this down a little bit more because really this is where our advancement is. Uh, we could actually pump the, yeah, I'm not really interested in that. I'm more interested in just taking the, all the territory on the coast here if possible. I don't know how exactly we're gonna do it. We do not have a very large army over here. Uh, we did get some civilian factories um, available uh, after we built those dockyards. So let me just take a look how the situation is looking. Naval dockyards, we're at 32. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Um, let's go ahead and start working on, on uh, well, we got civilian factories going. Let's go ahead and start working on military factories again. Let's get a few more. Kind of starting to feel like we don't have enough. Uh, let's go in the 40% locations. Uh, we'll build one right there. It looks like there's not too many 40% 40, 40 locations. All right, we'll do like so. Let's get four of them going. And then our dockyards, let's go and assign this. Oh, we'll get assigned right there for right now. Um, still short on the goddamn steel, man. It's ridiculous. Look how many factories we're giving to the Soviet Union for steel. It's it's insane. What you gonna do though, you know? It's really not anything we can do, we need the steel. Uh, so, um, Soviets are losing up over here, it looks like, but whatever, it doesn't matter. There is a Italian division, that's probably the same division we attacked right there, that we're gonna have to destroy, hope a little bit of win there. He's got low strength, we got low, low organization, so it's really hard to tell what's gonna end up happening there. Um, let's attack, K 
can we not attack? Aw, oh, damn. Alright, well, let's go here. Let's see if we can beat him. Okay, we should be able to beat him. And then we'll bring this division. Um, yeah, these guys are going to come over here. Or, well, I don't know what the fuck they're doing. Come on over here. I need more divisions over here. Um, so this guy, um, he's not going to be able to win. All right, that sucks. All right, we're going to need to bring him, bring more troops over here. That's unfortunate. Ugh, I didn't want to have to do that. Bring these guys over here. Um, and who's all going being assigned to this? All right, this is, this is fine, I suppose. Let's bring another tank unit over here. Try and get this uh, Chinese division destroyed. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen here, guys. Let's go and attack these guys. See if we can get a win there. Uh, we will support with these troops here. I want to get that Chinese. Awesome. The Chinese division has been destroyed. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, keep pushing the front forward. Whatever. Sure. Why not? <laughs> I think these guys are taking the railroad, so we should be able to beat them pretty quickly uh, when they, they inevitably get there before us. That's okay. Uh, let's go ahead and attack this way. Um, we're gonna attack those guys there even though I know that they're gonna be gone soon because I think they're taking the railroads uh, You guys come on, on over here Come on get over there. All right, so hopefully we're gonna get this this Italian division destroyed soon supply all along here is just terrible guys um, It's just so so bad It sucks. Um, are they gonna bring a division over there again? Hell yeah, they are uh, Whoa, whoa, wait a minute United Kingdom just declared war there, it happened. All right, so yeah, they declared war on the Iranian uh, communist authority. So that means they're going to be at war with us. So that's awesome. We will ask to join their war. Um, okay, we're not going to be able to do that. We have to do the Soviets. And I believe they should already be in the conflict. Um, we want... Huh, wait a minute. Soviet Finnish war. That's a completely different... Oh, yeah, they have not finished up with the Finns yet. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, the Finns are still holding out here with 55 divisions. The Soviets are just at war with too many countries, and now they're about to go to war with the Allies. Okay, well, whatever. It is what it is. Um, let's go ahead and, and join the war. I see if they will. Let me. I, I actually don't know if they will. Yeah, they're going to let us join. British-Soviet war. Let's, let's request, and now we're going to be at war with the Allies, just like that. Uh, that means we want to hide our fleet like a bunch of cowards, <laughs> because I don't want to get it destroyed yet. I don't know that we'll be able to win just yet. Um... I don't like the fact that we don't have any other cruisers yet. So, any other battle cruisers, I mean. So, let's just have them. Actually, we can just tell them to hold. Go back home. Go back home, guys. All right. So, they should uh, start heading on home. Because, yeah. And let's let our our planes do the work here. Um, you know, we'll probably put quite a few planes out here in the ports. Make sure that um, we got 200 going there, right? We have two, or we have 100 going over here. That's fine because I want to put a hundred um, bombing right here, uh, if we have it. I don't actually know how many torpedo bombers we have. Uh, yeah, we do. All right, so let's go and put these guys. Uh, let's deploy them. Oops, my bad. I want them doing both. And naval strikes over there. All right, fantastico. All right, so let's go ahead and get to taking territory. Um, oh, okay, let me just take a look here. Let's see if, um, hmm, can I extend this front? No, I can't. All right, just... Go ahead and execute then. Uh, attack. Um, I don't know why they're not attacking. Attack! I'm gonna have to force them to attack. Oh, are we not at war with the Spanish yet? Oh, the, Sp the Spanish aren't in that conflict yet. <laughs> All right. Well, my bad. Um, let's. I guess we can attack these troops here. Uh, see if we can get a win there. Uh, it looks like we should be able to. Let's attack with these guys as well. Go and attack that province though uh, until the Spanish get pulled into the, the conflict, uh, and then we want the Red Army to go ahead and execute theirs. I'm not going to manually control these guys because, like, look at this. There's nobody here defending, so there's absolutely no reason why. Oh, is France not pulled in the conflict either? Um, no, they're not in the conflict either yet. Okay. <laughs> Um, I was thinking we were at war with them, but yeah, we are not at war with them just yet. It looks like the only people that are in this conflict is the British. All right, so we're just gonna have to be patient with it um, until they they pull their other their allies in. It's just the British that we can fight. All right, that's fine. Um, we can advance over here, uh, so let's go ahead and do it. Let's go ahead and take a little bit of territory, just enough where we can defend with these these troops here. Let's go ahead and attack. I want to get control of this. I feel like we need control of the uh, of the uh, canal there. So, I think that's pretty important. Um, oh, our submarines. God damn it. Ah, the submarines, guys. <laughs> they're not going to be able to do it on their own. Let's go ahead and have them pull back. Uh, I don't know where they're based out of. I think they're based out of right here. Go back. 
Um, hopefully we can get them pulled back. Repair now. Uh, we'll just have to see if we can get them, get them home in time. All right, so these guys should be heading home as well. Um, and France just joined. Excellent. All right, so that's that's great. Uh, let's go ahead and get the, the blue army attacking uh, as well as the red army. Attack, man. And then the red army. Attack. All right, awesome. So we should start taking territory all along here. Of course, they're going to attack that one division. That's super stupid. Um, nope, I don't have to pull back. Spain just joined too. Whatever. We'll just throw away our manpower. It's fine. <laughs> it's fucking stuff's dumb. Um, yeah, I mean, we could easily cut all these troops off. Like, what are you doing? Just cut them off. Cut them off, guys. All right, so we are at war with the Allies. This is awesome. I'm really excited about this. I, you know you know me, guys. I love some big old conflicts. Um, so what we want to do... Huh. How many do we have? Okay, let's go and get our dive bomber doing close air support. Our two fighter wings doing air superiority. Uh, these guys, close air support. Okay, get all these guys flying overhead. Excellent. This is gonna look, this looks so good, guys. Everybody's already assigned. I want to make sure that we did have them all assigned, though. Um, fighter wings doing air superiority. And there we go. So everybody should be assigned now. It looks like we got rid of that indicator. So yeah, everybody's assigned. That's 800 close air support, 800 air superiority. Um, over here, I didn't actually assign any planes um, because we, I want to get the air base first. Um, now that Spain, Spain is in the war, Spain, Spain is in the war, let's go ahead and get these guys executing their attack. They should be attacking over here and it shouldn't be too difficult to take that territory. I believe we should be able to extend this front now, yeah. Uh, and they can go ahead and advance, uh, take all of Greece, get that into our hands. We also need to take over Albania as well, but they're not currently in the war yet. They should be soon though. All right, and then we're taking this territory here with those guys. Blue Army taking this. I didn't give them any air support. I don't think they need it. I think they'll be fine. Um, it looks like our, yeah, like I said, our submarines did get caught up here, which is unfortunate. They'll probably get destroyed. We'll just have to see what happens there. Uh, we do have air support though, so maybe not. All right, um, anything else I need to be aware of? Uh, just bombing convoys all throughout here. Excellent, uh, hurting the, the British uh, fleets. And let's just see uh, how the things are going over here because I haven't really been uh, able to do anything here. Can we attack and win here? No, let's go ahead and pull that back. Pull back. We need to get more troops over there. Uh, we do have the ability to modify our government now, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we want, uh, I think we're pretty much good all along here. Just kind of see what else is available. We have the social order one, which I think is something maybe good. I don't know. Let me just see. Okay, it's this one that we're going to go for daily. Yeah, I'm not really excited about that one. I don't even know if we'll go for it. I kind of want to get some of the other stuff here first. Um, I think we should do the chief of the Navy if we can. Let me just see what this does. Yeah, let's let's do this one. I think that'd be important. I'm a little bit concerned about our Navy, personally. Um, so what is this? United Kingdom, France. Um, they want to join the war. Yeah, you can join the war. Sure, why not? Uh, they, they're they going to get pulled in anyway by the Soviets. That's our, our little puppet state over here. They currently have uh, 11 divisions, so they are trying to help in the, the war conflict. Um, is there anything else that we need to be aware of all along this front? Um, there's a ton of Soviets. This should, as they take this territory, this should let them focus their troops in other locations. Netherlands has joined, so has... Uh, Venezuela. All right, that's unfortunate. South Africa has joined too. Okay, man. All right, so our allies are now joining as well. All right, and yeah, we're just getting a ton of countries in here. That also means that we're not going to be able to trade. Oh, we're going to be hurting on some resources now. Oh, the rubber situation is going to be bad, guys. Um, let's just go like so. And then the British Raj is not in the war yet. They will be soon, though, guys. All right, um, God, look at all this. There's so many allies. There are always so many allies. And yeah, we're just not gonna be able to get enough trade. Um, let me just make sure, yeah, they can join. Um, and I just wanna make sure that I'm not getting asked to join a war that you know I don't want <laughs> to join. Uh, let me just take a look at the, the situation here. Do we sink anything? Sunk a convoy there, all right. Um, yeah, not much here, just bombing, doing a little bit of damage to the convoys, okay. Um, let me just take a look here at this fleet. Um, all right, so we got another light cruiser finished up. Uh, and then, yeah, the, the situation here is going to be pretty bad. Um, damn, we're not going to have any rubber. All right, let's just pull that back. Yeah, they must have lost their rubber somehow, too. 
Okay, uh, God, look at all these countries. There's so many countries. So we're not gonna be able to get the rubber, so we're gonna need to really focus on that tech so that we can start building our own rubber, guys. Uh, just seeing what's going on throughout here. This is gonna be a little bit longer episode, guys. Uh, largely because, yeah, there, as I said before, there's not gonna be one tomorrow because I'm gonna be streaming that. Uh, let's, let's attack here, even though I know that they're pulling back. It's fine, we're gonna attack them anyway. I try and beat on the Germans anytime I can. Um, this is gonna be really, really hard to manually control this front. I'm gonna tell you that right now, guys. God, we're just waiting for these guys. They're taking forever so we can get that finished up. Yeah, this is going to be really hard to manually control the front. Um, yeah, I just don't know that we're going to be able to do it. Let's go and get these guys going this way. Um, and whoa, 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 wait a minute. A whole bunch of stuff happened over here. British Raj has already capitulated. Um, all that went to the Soviet Union. Oh, because the Soviets were already, had already, were already deep in their territory because... Yeah, that's right, because they had already conquered Japan. Uh, the Japanese were over here. All right, so all this has gone into Soviet hands. It was already in Soviet hands, I believe, as well. Look at that. Soviets actually have 30% uh, 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 democracy over there. Uh, Rome has fallen. Fall of Belgrade. Confederate. Yeah, all these countries are now capitulating um, to us or whatever. Uh, we got some of the access there. Netherlands. Let me just take a look if we can get anything over here. Can we get this, this states here that we weren't able to get before? Uh, it's all messed up. Let me take a look. Um, oh, okay. Wait a minute. Oh, what the fuck? Damn it, look at this, guys. Yeah, that's a problem. Okay, what are you guys doing? Are you guys not attacking here? No, they're not. We're gonna need to force them to attack. We need to get the Blue Army going aggressive um, and force these guys to attack through this territory because they're not gonna do it on their own. They're not gonna go this way because the arrow's over here. Uh, we'd have to do a whole separate arrow, um, which I'm not gonna do. Uh, so let's go ahead and get these guys going this way. Hurry up and take this territory. We need to go quick. We need to get this blue army elsewhere. Uh, we need them um, in a lot of locations right now. The war is, yeah, getting kind of out of control. Let's go and pump these guys forward over here. Let's go and take territory all across here, guys. Uh, you guys are gonna march. Now you guys are gonna march this way. And you guys can come over this way and you will go that way. All right, so everybody should be advancing um, forward here. Just make sure we get all that territory taken so we can hurry up and get Syria taken. Um, we got the yellow army marching across there. Uh, and suck another convoy there. A lot of stuff over, happening over here. Uh, and then the uh, army here in France, I believe they're going on full aggressive already, so they should be moving really rapidly. Yeah. Um, so we should hopefully get this territory taken soon uh, and get France capitulated. Um, I, I mean, I don't think they have a lot of divisions over there. Uh, but yeah, it looks like we were, we were forced to go to war with the Allies. The Allies declared war on us, so even if we had desired to you know, stay at peace with them. Wouldn't have happened. And it just wasn't an option. I don't know what these guys are doing, um, but whatever. We'll let them do their thing. Uh, and then uh, what sucks is this here, guys. And this is what I'm worried about right here. Huh, I wonder if we can just wrap them up with this cavalry division, because they're all cut off. Let's see if the cavalry divisions can do the job here that we need them to do. Wipe these troops out. That's what I need them to do. Uh, and we're going to attempt to. We're going to see if we can, can make it happen. Um, with the cavalry divisions. I don't know. Uh, they're pretty weak. Uh, remember, they're all cut off from supply, so it's definitely a possibility uh, that we can get this all cut off. And, oh yes, that's right. I wanted to ask for uh, land, if possible. Let's see if they'll give me this, um, all the land here. I want this one, this one. No, they won't give me that. Well, how about just Syria? Yeah, they'll give me Syria. That'll connect our lands here. All right, awesome. Uh, so we got that from them. Uh, they're not going to give us anything else just yet. But yeah, we have Serbia in our hands now, which is all damaged up. Uh, what I want to go ahead and do is, um, yeah, let's take this unit here and then make sure that they're occupying uh, this area to garrison right there. Excellent. Did give us some factories here. As you can see, they're all damaged up, though. So uh, yeah, they're not going to go to us immediately. Um, what we want to do, because I think we're still really short on the infantry equipment, uh, which I think it's just going to get worse with this new conflict. Uh, let's go ahead and give another line towards infantry equipment there. Um, and then also, let's see what else we need. Let's see what else we need here. I know we need tanks. Well, we're doing pretty good on tanks now. We really built those up. Pretty good. We got some medium tanks here. Um, I want to start working on planes. It feels like we don't have enough, speci uh, specifically the torpedo bombers here, guys. Let's go ahead and put those into torpedo bombers. Uh, like so, and all these damaged planes are going to... Yeah, that sucks. We'll get them fixed, guys, soon enough. Uh, soon enough with all those factories that we just got. Oh, man. Yeah, we're in a shitty situation Luckily the steel problem uh, we can just fix that with Soviet Union. Uh, we can't do shit about the rubber There's nobody to trade with for rubber Yep, I'm just kind of fucked off on that one 
All right, well, it is what it is, guys. Um, it looks like we didn't lose any of the submarines. So that I'm really, really happy to see that because uh, I was a bit concerned about that. Let's go and get these guys moving forward as well. We need to push forward here as quickly as possible. Uh, we'll attack there. We're going to bring these guys over there as well so we finish it up. Um, but yeah, this is just absolutely crazy how many fronts we got going right now. Um, United States just declared war on France. Are you fucking kidding me? That is glorious. The United States just declared war on France? Why? Why? Because, is it because the, the Allies declared war on us? That is awesome. So, the United States is now at war with the Allies. I am very, very happy with that. Um... Yeah, maybe they'll they'll help us out in this conflict. All right, so this this world war here has just gotten out of control. Everybody is at war with everybody. Like, take a look at the allies. Look at who all they're at war with. That's crazy. And then look at the United States. Look at what war they're with. Everybody. Look at us. We're at war with everybody. How is everybody at war with everybody? I don't know. I can't even answer that. Uh, but there's all these different factions, and then we didn't even look at the German faction, or the, uh, you know, Axis. They're at war with everybody. Uh, except for the United States. The United States has not declared war on the Axis. They've decided that they, they're not the worst ones in the world. So, we are, I guess. Alright, that one German division left, so maybe we might, might be able to win here. Um, once these guys get here. Hurry up, get over here. Help us. Um, so we're bringing more divisions over this way as well, which should allow us to take a little bit of territory here. We could push forward right there, I suppose. Looks like it's an easy advancement. Uh, ooh, wait a minute. Looks like dangerous naval invasions. Oh, Lord. Yeah, they're invading us, like, right there. Uh, that's not good. They're invading us over here as well. Okay. Um, hmm. Should we defend the territory? Should we let them have it so we can finish Syria up, and then we'll push them out of here? I kind of feel like we should. Um, yeah, I kind of think that's what we're going to do here. Why don't you guys go this way instead? Um, yeah, this is... Ah, wow, this is this is crazy. What's going on here? They're also gonna invade us in Greece over here, I guess. Uh, where in Greece? That's that's a problem because we're kind of really using uh, Crete, the Aegean Islands. Okay, we have somebody defending that. Yeah, I don't have anybody defending any of my ports here. That's a problem. Um, yeah, look at that. That's not good at all. All right, so we need to hurry up and get the Blue Army done with um, so they can come over here and defend our home territory. Uh, but I really want to get this Syria wiped out first before we do it. This may be a bad decision. I don't know. <laughs> but I want to get it finished. Um, I feel like we need to uh, get, it, get it all wrapped up over here. All right, so we got all these guys coming over here. Um, what we could do is just take, like, a couple quick tank divisions to defend something. Uh, I don't really know exactly where they're attacking. We know the states they're attacking. Um... Yeah, they're attacking here. I kind of just think we'll just bring the Blue Army over here when we're done. I don't know. We're going to have to split the Blue Army more than likely. One to defend here and one to defend over here is the mo most likely thing to happen here. But, yeah, the uh, the British are just sending naval invasions all over the damn place. Um, and our, our forces are extremely overextended. We are all over the place right now fighting. Um, are these guys not attacking? Because, like, that's what I want you to do. Just take territory. Get these guys wrapped up attack here we need to finish this up as soon as possible um i don't know where you guys are going but yeah move forward let's get the fronts taken um as quickly as possible we need to get france knocked out of this war although like i said it's not going to really result in much uh capitulation wise looks like the naval invasions ended for some freaking reason i don't know what happened there uh let's go ahead and end that they're not going to win there uh and these guys are pro probably not going to win here either maybe if we both attack at the same time maybe that well nope that's not gonna work either all right, uh, let's pull this back here, and let's cut these guys off instead. Uh, and then maybe then we'll be able to win there. Uh, we'll just have to see. Uh, everybody needs to hurry up and get this taken, guys. Come on, finish finish it up. Just take the territory. All right, you guys can come over this way. We're almost done with Syria. Uh, this has been, yeah, uh, really, really quick. But, yeah, it's, it's occupying our forces where we're needed elsewhere. Uh, there's other things that we need to be doing at the moment. Uh, let's see, can I... Hmm... Can I win here and get these divisions cut off? No. Let's just go and pull that back then. Looks like some of them might be pulling back. Uh, yeah, we're pretty overextended on this front. Uh, might be able to win right there. Let's just see. Let's and then support with these guys and see if we get a win there. Um, could also attempt to... Let's attack right there. Why not? And we'll attack over here too. Although it's probably going to be a loss. Yes, it is. Yeah, their divisions are pretty damn good. Those Japanese divisions are strong. They'd be very strong. It doesn't help that we have supply issues all the way across here. I think that's the major problem. We're getting more divisions coming over this way. Come on over here. Get everybody assigned. 
Uh, and yeah, that should help out. Also, we... Yeah, we're not bombing their fleet. Never mind. I was hoping we had bombed their fleet. Uh, apparently not, though. Okay. Um, just taking a look here. Um, and we're not at war with the Americans, are we? I don't think so. Yeah, let me just double check real quick. No. All right. Just want to make sure when all that stuff happened that we didn't get pulled into that in any form or fashion. Because that obviously wouldn't be good. A lot of battle, a lot of uh, bombings over here. I'm not going to look at all of them right now. Okay, so the blue army is done. What we need to do... Oh, let me just see here. Um, looks like we lost this because their troops pulled out. Let's go ahead and pull these guys uh, forward to kind of hold this this area here. Can you get... You can. All right, so that's a problem. Um, so what we're going to need to do is try and get this where... Hmm. I mean, we just need to get control of this right now. I think it's contested at the moment. Um, yeah, we need to get control of the uh, Suez Canal. You just see uh, these guys are done training. They're not. All right, so what we want to do with the Blue Army here, uh, we're going to send... We're still trying to wrap this up with the cavalry units, by the way. Um, we need to send another division over here to attack here. Clearly, he must have lost um, there, which is unfortunate. Uh, we're winning across here. Um, but yeah, I think what we're going to have to do with the Blue Army... We don't have any more naval invasions. We had all those naval invasions happen, but they're gone. So what I'm thinking we're going to do is just go ahead and start attacking across North Africa with the Blue Army. But I don't want to send the entire Blue Army over there. Uh, what I think we're going to do is put some into the Orange Army because we're going to need some over there. Yeah, clearly. All right, so let's go ahead and take the, the Blue Army. Uh, we're going to take uh, a few of these guys. Uh, probably one mountain division. Um, let me see. How many tanks do we have? We have four tanks. I don't think the Orange Army has very many tanks. So we'll take one tank. Uh, and then the rest will be infantry. I'm just going to take two of these guys. And then uh, I think we want to get the 15. So let's go like so. Um, yeah, I think that this will... We might have one extra tank. Yeah, let's give them another tank over here. So this will be a total of six. That would bring it down to... Oh, not enough. Let's do one more. So that'll be seven. I like that. These guys are going into this orange army. However, they're not going to move on to this front just yet. Uh, first, I want them to go onto this front here uh, to get this wrapped up uh, because, yeah, we can't have this this front all the way across here like this. This is terrible. It's ugly. So we need to get them them going over there. Uh, so you guys are going to be assigned over that front now. Uh, go ahead and get over there on the railroads. Uh, let's go ahead and get these guys attacking over this way. We'll just send one. Oh, he's going to be able to defeat them pretty easily. All right, awesome, because uh, they're completely cut off from supply at the moment. All right. Uh, lovely. Uh, let's see if we can win over here. Uh, we'll send this mountain division into a system. And um, let me see. Is there anything else we can do here? Uh, we just don't have enough divisions here, man. Uh, how about you guys attack attack right there and see if you can get a win? Maybe, maybe not. No, no, no. Pull back. Uh, that guy could actually win. Interestingly enough. Hmm. Okay. Um, we'll just let that happen as is. Uh, and then, yeah, our, our other blue army, which I never did anything with them, they're going to be coming over to this front here. We're going to give them a front all the way across here. Uh, and they're going to have it in order to start marching. Um, the yellow army is just going to hold that province there. And they're going to start marching over this way. All right, so, yeah, the yellow army, their job will be to hold these provinces here, like just three across. That'll be their job. Uh, we'll wait until the blue army gets there. All right, excellent. So get over there, guys. Help us out. Everybody needs to start moving. Need a lot more troops. Uh, we did finish up our first battle cruiser. Fantastic. We now have two battle cruisers. Uh, looking good all the way across here. Here's what the, the French situation looks like. There's a lot more troops over here now. Still not enough, though, to defend it all, though. So we're in a good location here, a good uh, situation here. Republic of Guatemala has joined France as our enemy. Okay, gotcha. Um, let me just take a look at the situation um, here because um, I'm curious. Uh, what does our war participation look like? Uh, we are 47%. That's not bad. 47% is not bad at all. All right, so yeah, we're continuing to attack here using those cavalry troops. Um, and yeah, Lithuania has now joined that conflict as well. This is just a really ugly situation. Why don't you guys come on over this way? Come over here and take this territory. Yeah, it's just such an ugly because we were all friends, you know? We were sharing territory and stuff, so that's what ended up happening. Um, how it got all messed up like that. Some of these guys are probably going to go in through the seas, too. That's kind of bad, too, these cavalry units. We don't want them out there. Uh, that's going to get them destroyed uh, by the British fleet. All right, so, yeah, we're continuing advancing along here. Um, let me just see. It looks like we lost there. That's unfortunate. Huh. Yeah, this is not a good situation here. How many troops? Yeah, there's a lot of British troops in Greece. Damn, I thought Greece was going to be an easy conflict, but apparently not. Uh, there are a lot of guys down there. 
Are these guys done training yet? No, they're still still going. Um, but yeah, we're getting all of our guys moving around, and I believe that is actually going to be the end of the episode. Got a nice long episode here since we're not doing a Tuesday episode. Um, and yeah, everything's looking just absolutely crazy. Uh, shit is bananas right now, guys. Um, so many conflicts going right now. So many countries at war. Uh, what I think we're going to do here is attempt to cut these guys off. But to do, to do that, we will need to attack these guys. Uh, we won't beat them, probably. Let me just see here. When do they get here? 14 hours. All right, we'll have them... Okay, you know what we're going to do? We'll have these guys attack like uh, so, and then have them attack as well. And just to lock those down guys down so we can get that unit over there. Uh, but yeah, this is this is the war. We're at war in China here, trying to increase our participation there. We're at 20.8% in the war with China. Uh, all of India is in Soviet hands. The Soviet Union is fucking massive, guys. Just taking a look, they have 14.8 million over here, 634 divisions, 443 military factories, only 43 dockyards, though. Um, just looking at their civilian factories, 392, 6. 5, 7,000 planes, uh, 24 ships, not a lot of ships. Um, but yeah, the, uh, the Soviet Union is so powerful. Look how much fucking territory they own. Quite a bit. If we could just get the war with the Axis over with, guys, that'd be absolutely massive for us. Uh, Soviet Union's focusing on the war with Italy while we focus on France. Um, just taking a look at uh, other situations around the world that I might have missed. Um, British need to get destroyed over there. We need to help. Our Orange Army here, that, they're going to be getting all this area wrapped up pretty important that we get this finished up here. Uh, I don't know if we'll be able to get control of anything else. We'll just have to see. Uh, but yeah, we're going to try and get control of all Greece. We're going to have the Yellow Army hold this area here while the Blue Army sweeps across North Africa, try and get all North Africa in our hands, um, and then uh, we'll maybe launch an invasion of Spain here. Um, if the I, I imagine that the Red Army will have already invaded Spain by that point, though, by the time they get all the way across North Africa. We'll just have to see. Uh, but yeah, the, the map is a mess because of the friendly relations we had with the United Kingdom. So now they have like little dotted uh, troops everywhere. We might have to send like a couple divisions just assigned to wiping out these divisions here because the AI won't do it. Um, and then you'll get that one division, that lone division, just roaming around taking over S Soviet territory. Um, so yeah, we don't, we don't want that to happen. Uh, so we might have to assign somebody to do that, guys. Uh, but overall, it's just a massive conflict, a lot of fun. I don't know why anybody wanted me to... Some, some people were like, oh, I thought you were going to end it. No, I'm not going to end it. Look at this. This is awesome. It's a blast, guys. So if you guys enjoyed the episode, make sure you leave that like, subscribe to the channel, and thanks for watching, guys.